Hey YouTube, I've got a 2005 Honda Civic here with an airbag light that comes on. I'll show you that. It comes down in the right hand corner down here in the bottom. Right there. It just stays on. So uh, I'm going to show you how to fix this today. So what we want to do is turn the ignition off and then locate our OBD2 connector which on my Honda Civic 2005 is located right down here next to the shifter boot. And what we want to do is get a paper clip or a bobby pin or something and jump the, this connector. Right here we have on the bottom one, two, three, four over to the left. And then we want to do this top one on the right. We're going to connect that with a bobby pin and see what Colby come up with. Okay, so I've got the bobby pin and the fourth connector over on the bottom and on the top right one. Uh, make sure you don't get these wrong. You could possibly blow a fuse or something if you get in the wrong spot. So make sure the ignition's off when you do this as well. Alright, so now we're going to turn the ignition on and see what code we come up with. What happens is that airbag light's going to come on constant and then eventually it'll go out. Here it goes. Now it's going to flash. One, two, three, four, and then one quick one. So it'll do it again. One, two, three, four, and then that quick one. And I believe it'll just keep doing this process over and over again. I'm not too sure. But that means our airbag code is 41. And I was able to find a uh, forum where all these codes are have a description of what they mean. And this one comes out to a passenger seatbelt tensioner. So I ripped this panel off over here. You don't need any tools. Uh, it just pops right off. And I found this yellow airbag connector and some chewed up wires. I'm trying to sell this vehicle. I bought a new truck recently and it's been sitting for about three weeks. I live out in the woods and it looks like some mice, you see some mouse poop in there. It looks like some mice came in here and chewed up these wires. So I'm going to make this repair and then uh, we'll come back and show you the finished product of the repair and then also how to reset that airbag light. Alright, so I went ahead and made that repair. Had some of the same gauge wire laying around from an old radio harness. And uh, just put some butt connectors on there, crimped them down, and did some heat shrink. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this in electrical tape now and plug it in right there. And uh, just on a side note, in order to get this connector off, you just have to push down, push this forward, and then it'll slide off nice and easy. All right, so I'm going to clip this back in. We'll wrap it up in electrical tape, click it back in, and we'll teach you how to reset the light. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our bobby pin out. And we're gonna use this actually in a minute. So first what we're gonna do, take off this little panel. That just pulls down. And hopefully you can see it. Yep, you can see it right there. There's a yellow connector. What we need to do is push down on the top and uh, and that'll pull right out nice and easy. I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so we got our yellow connector out. And what we're gonna do is put that bobby pin, there's two pin here, two pin connector. We're gonna put that bobby pin in each side. I'm gonna do it off camera. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, so we got our bobby pin in the connector now. What we're gonna do is put the key in the ignition and the airbag light's gonna come on. And it's gonna go off. As soon as it comes off, I'm gonna pull out that connector as soon as it goes back on, I'm going to push it back in. I'm going to do it three times. The third time, it should clear it out. So ignition on. Airbag light should come. On. Okay, there it goes off. Pull that out. Goes back on. Okay, so that was tough to do with one hand. What I'm going to do, turn that beeping off for now. I'm going to go put the bobby pin back in the connector. And we're going to do that. I'm trying to prop the camera up here so we can see this 
airbag light while I do this. You might just have to trust me on it. But I might find a spot where I can prop that. Oh, that looks good right there. Okay, so I'm going to, with the ignition off, I'm going to put the bobby pin in the connector. Bear with me. Okay, we're in. So we're going to turn the ignition on. Airbag light should come on. As soon as it goes off, I'm going to pull that connector out. So out. It comes back on. We're going to put it back in. Back in. When it comes out, we're going to pull it back out. It comes back on. We're going to put it back in. Now it's off. And it should stay off. As long as I made my repair properly. So we're going to pause that. Put that connector back in where it belongs and start her up. Hopefully she stays off. Okay, so we plugged our connector back in where it belongs. I don't even think it connects to anything. I think it's really just a spot to hold it. Um, we're going to put our panel back on and start her up. See how All right, so let's start her up. There goes our airbag light. And it goes off. So, great. He breaks on, let off the clutch. Okay, so airbag light is off. Looks like our repair did the job. So uh, actually, I went back and watched the videos. Looks like the second time I put the bobby pin back in the connector, actually cleared it out. After that, it flashed real quick and stayed off. So it might you might just have to do it two times. I've watched a few videos and looks like they did it three times in all the other videos. Um, so like I said, I, I, I actually watched a few YouTube videos about this process and it took me a few different videos to figure out the whole process of how to read the codes and then how to clear them out. So this video hopefully consolidates all that into one video. I'm going to go ahead and put the link uh, to the forum that has the description of all the codes that you can pull out of your OBD2 connector uh, in, the, in the link below. So uh, I, did, I used to work at a dealership in our local area as a service advisor, I was the guy who'd call you and tell you what's wrong with your car, how much it was going to cost to fix, build quotes, transmit warranty claims, that type of thing. The guy always got screamed at. Um, and this this repair would have been probably a $100 diagnosis charge, plus an hour to an hour and a half, possibly two hours of repair time, um, plus, you know, the little connectors and things like that, which are pretty cheap. But um, it probably would have been around a $300 job. So today we saved ourselves some money, which, of course, that's always a good thing to do. I uh, hope the YouTube video is helpful for, for you. I, I don't do this very often, so I apologize for the shaky camera and the bad lighting and also the stammering and stuttering, but uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. Hope you have a good day.